Hi everyone, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy this web application on pythonanywhere.com. So my screen here, I have a simple web application, it's simply a blog in a stand. So we're going to deploy this application on pythonanywhere.com again. So right now, go down to pythonanywhere.com. So currently, we are on the website, it's called pythonanywhere.com. You understand? So right there, we're on, the home, we're on the landing page. So what you have to do now is go there and create an account you understand so you have to create an account so click on sign up press and sign up so let's create an account so it's coming up so right now we're on the page so we're going to create a beginner account so the beginner's account is free of charge so you can see here we have some other plans the aka account the web dev startup so beginner is free so we're going to stick with this for now so create a beginner account so right here it's simple put in your username your email your password and your password again and you have created your account so i'm going to pause the video now and increase my details okay so once you create an account you'll be brought onto this page you'll be brought onto this screen once, once you've made once you've created your account you'll be you'll be signed in automatically so you're going to see this model you're going to see this you, you'll see this pop up on the screen so what you have to do now is just to click on enter click on it enter so that's what you have to do so once you're on this page now this is your dashboard so you can see my username is called Clinton Academy. That's my username. So you can pick your username you get. So right there, just scroll down a bit. You can see we have this button called Bash. You understand? So click on this Bash button on the bottom left. Bottom left. So click on this button, the Bash button. So it's loading up. So now we are going to be brought down to a console. You understand? So we are on this console, right? On this terminal. So if the console is loading so yes yeah, so we are here now so what we have to do is this so you have to go deploy this so right now you have to deploy your project to github you have to deploy, you have to also you have to push your your django project to github before you can deploy on python anywhere it's necessary so if you don't have to if you don't if you don't have to push to github i have a video linked in this in this video description where i thought how you can push your django project to github so currently I have my own GitHub, so I'm going to simply open. So I want to clone it. So we have to clone our projects on this console. So right, let me just go get my. So right here, here's the, here's the project on GitHub. Here's my project on GitHub. This blog you see over here. You understand? Here's the source code on GitHub. You understand? So I have to go here, come over here, click on this green button. I have to copy this link. So I want to clone this repo on. In, on python on python anywhere i want to clone it on python anywhere so click on this link copy this link and instead once you copy go back to the console so you're going to see me come here and say git clone so git clone so let me make this bigger i think it's fine okay let me make it a bit bigger so back here so say git clone and then you paste in the url Control v and then enter so you have to clone it so quickly it's been cloned so it's almost done okay once it's done now we need to make a virtual environment it's necessary in this time so this is a command so i'm going to simply clear what we have on top so let's clear this up what we have on top just type in clear and enter so it's gone so right now let's make a virtual environment so it's called mk make virtual env so so this is it here so you give your virtual environment a name i'm going to call my venv venv enter okay so right now i've made my virtual environment it has been created and you can see here it has been activated it, it, it was created and also activated at the same time and so, so once you've done this now so let's print our work so let's see our current directory the current working directory so let's see it now so i want to, show, I want to see the current directory i am i am on currently i'll just say pwd so this is the meaning is present working directory so enter so currently i am on home slash clinton academy and i start. so once i'm here so i want to go down to my project directory understand so if i just type in ls so right now we have this new django this is our blog directory right you can see from here the name is called new django underscore blog so if you come over here where is it again you can see it's also called new django blog right so right now i need to go into this directory so i'll just say cd dash chain directory and i'll say new underscore django underscore blog and then enter 
so once i am in this directory i can install the requirements for my project you understand so we check closely this project has a requirement of cst file if you see you can see this is the requirement over here so you need to install all the packages all the all the dependencies this project requires you understand so come over here install that it's simple it's just it's, it's a normal python stuff you don't say pip and then install then i fin r i fin r then requirements dot txt and then enter so you're going to install all the requirements for our project you understand so this is going to take it's going to happen in a short while so currently it's installing the requirements it's installing the requirements installing django psychopg Gimicon is keeps installing so it's still so white noise is still being installed so let's just switch for it to be done it's almost done so right now it's done installing the requirement of tst it's done it's right now it's done installing all the requirement for our project everything has been installed so now let's clear let's clear up everything we have on top there that place is not looking so clear so we have cleared it up so it's cleared already so once you've done this so we are making progress so i'm going to simply duplicate this Duplicate. I want, I want to dupli duplicate this tab. So duplicate. So it's been duplicated. So once it's there, let's go back to the previous page where we came from. So I'm gonna go back a step. Okay, we are back here again. So now click on this on the bottom right. Click on this open web tab. This button over here. Click on it. Okay. So I'm gonna come over here. So you click on add a new add a new web app. Click on this button so that's it now so you can see here it says your account doesn't support custom domains so we are going to be giving this as our domain name clintonacademy.pythonanywhere.com you're going to give in your username and then pythonanywhere.com so currently we are on the free plan the free plan can only be able to host a single website in the stand so if you if you upgrade to the paid plans you'll be able to up, you'll be able to create you'll be able to host multiple web applications on python anywhere on the free plan can only host a single application so click on this next button so i'm going to go with manual configuration so if you go with django you are going to simply deploy their own boilerplate django code but if you click on manual you can deploy your own django project instead so click on manual so click on python 3.10 the latest version and then next you can read these things but well, just click next follow me so next is going to take us to a different page right now so now we are on this page now so scroll down scroll down okay so you can see says here enter path to virtual env if desired so let's enter the path so remember my virtual env i called it venv Please make sure you remember the name of a virtual environment. So make call it something simple so you don't have to forget. You get so I called my VEMV. So click on this mark symbol, this good symbol. Okay, it has been added. So that's it. So just scroll up a bit, scroll up a bit, just above virtual EMV. You will see this WXGI configuration file. You understand? So just click on this link. Click on it. So it's take us to a new page my internet is quite slow but it's be okay we are there okay we are here now so on this page now just scroll gently you find that you find the django you you find the django section just go you can see you can see that the django session here from 74 down to 89 and from that so you can see that was now we have flax but currently we are working with django so what i have to do now is i need to remove some comments so everything here has been commented under django so I'm going to move these comments from the import or oh, remove the comments from there from import sys remove the comments so from this part also remove the comments so from if remove comments so from all these commands you have to remove those you have to remove the comment symbols from those commands so from os.env also remove the comments so from leave for dot for this then you can leave the comments and from django.core remove the comments and from application remove the comments so right here now just scroll up here so this part you see here this part we have here so this part represents the folder 
that contains your manage.py file if you come over here now you can see currently i have my money currently you can see this is the manage.py file you can see it here and it is inside of this folder called new underscore django underscore blog so you come back to this console i will prove that to you now if i so right now we are on this directory let's let's check the current working directory just put in pwd so let's see where we are so enter sorry i, I tapped it i typed that so why that's why you can see it's two there so you can see we are on own slash linton academy slash new django new django blog so if i want so right now i want to check the contents of new django blog so i say ls you can see right there we have manage.py file manage.py so over here we have to put in the folder that contains manage.py file so you can see in this part here so what's what is so currently what is housing manage.py file is the new is this folder called new underscore django underscore blog so come over here and let's move this my site this my site this my site is just default so we are going to put in new underscore django underscore blog now if you scroll down again this is .mv1. So, so right now we are going to simply put in the folder that contains your settings of pi file your settings of pi file you understand so go down to your github proof go down to your github again you we'll check here we have my site folder also you can see there is a coincidence here i called my my site they called yes also my site if i click on this this is my actual Django project. This is my site folder. I can click on it. Inside of this folder, I have I have my settings of Pi file. You understand? So right now we named our folder the same thing. So I don't I don't have to I don't have to touch this again. I don't have to touch this again. I don't have to touch it. You understand? Because currently mine is also called my site. They call this also my site. So that's it. So now just after you've done this now, click on this save on top here. Save so you're gonna save the changes we've made on this file so once you've done this i think you can go back let's go back now okay okay so we are back here again so we just go to the top so copy this copy this domain copy it ctrl c and then con click on files on top here files click on it so click on files so you can see you can see right here we have our new django blog this folder so click on this folder so whatever you want is called click on it so this is my folder a new django blog so it's coming up so i'll simply go down to my site so my site so i'm going down to my django project which is called my my site this is my django project so it's coming up so click on settings.py file okay now so right now go down to your allowed host so you are meant to put in that url that the url you copied you are meant to put it here you understand so you're meant to put that there it's necessary to put that there so if, if you don't want to put it there you can simply just put in the asterisk that was there before then I mean, there was an asterisk there before so this asterisk just accepts all domains but it's not the right way so you can just come over here and put in the domain your domain in the in your allowed oh so currently i'm going to take it back to okay it's fine yes this is how it should be this is the right way let's follow the right principles you get so on uh, your debug you can turn off your debug to force understand if it's true so turn it off to false to for because security reasons is important so currently i'll leave my as true okay let's cut it to false let's make it false or let's leave it as true but it's best to turn it to false that's the best way so once you've done this now click on save again save so it's saving so let's give it some time so it's done saving so let's go back again go back so once you're here click back on click on dashboard dashboard so your dashboard now just scroll down click on this link click on it this link you see i click on it or open let's open a new tab click on that link so we are on this link now just open that link on the new tab now so click on here so you have to reload so reload so reload so we have to reload this so reload it click on the reload button so click on it so it's reloading so once it's done we can then access our website so it's done now click on this this is your domain so click on it so let's see so right now you can see 
our application has been deployed on pythonanywhere.com in a so i love this it's super fast super super fast and currently we are on sqlite 3 database in a so and we are able to deploy this to the cloud you so right now we have our project right now we have our project on python anywhere so we've deployed this already super fast and simple so i click on read more so read more this is a blog app so it's quite it's very very fast it's fast yeah so this is our blog application i could add a comment like let's see let's just say beautiful and then click on submit comment has been added nice instead so i could like a blog post click on like you see i'm not logged in so, so i'm not logged in so i can't like if i'm not logged in so okay that's it so everything is fine here yes, you can see everything is perfect so you can search for a blog post if you want to search so if you come over here listen you, you can use the search bar so right now you can see our domain let me make this big so you can see this is clearly see uh, sorry it's not okay that's not the right place so you can see the domain name but you can see this is our domain name everything is working so we've been able to deploy our blog on pythonanywhere.com so if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like the video and you can share with your friends so i'll see you in the next video so stay blessed and bye bye